And, and I think Mr. Pennycuff articulated it extremely well. Um, it gives us the leverage to plan ahead as opposed to let's see which programs need to be diminished, which things need to be cut, uh, how do you diminish the staff, what about this full-time employee. So with the substitute, it gives you leverage where you can plan in a more aggressive fashion so that you can do it for many, many years to come. Uh, some of my colleagues in Cincinnati Public Schools, uh, we were at a conference recently. substitute works because they have several renewals on the ballot for this particular term and they'd like to do something a little more aggressive and I think for the taxpayers one simple thing that Mr. Pennycuff mentioned he will not raise your taxes. I'm sure that's one of the big So Dr. Smith what is more aggressive about a substitute levy rather than a renewal levy? works because they have several renewals on the ballot for this particular term and they'd like to do something a little more aggressive and I think for the taxpayers one simple thing that Mr. Pennycuff mentioned he will not raise your taxes see how this substitute works because they have several renewals on the ballot for this particular term and they'd like to do something a little more aggressive and I think for the taxpayers one simple thing that Mr. Pennycuff mentioned he will not raise your taxes. So Dr. Smith, I understand it's not going to raise our taxes, but it's also going to reduce our taxes, right, if it does not pass. And I'm a little wondering why you don't mention that any of these other times. Thanks. And I think for the taxpayers, one simple thing that Mr. Pennycuff mentioned, he will not raise your taxes. I'm sure that's one of the biggest questions yeah, that people I have. Anticipate the, the related question. People say, but why are you on the ballot if you're not raising taxes? That's what you typically do, sure. meaning school system. Um, and that's true. But this is a different type of school funding uh, mechanism uh, instituted by the state of Ohio about 10 years ago. So Mr. Pennycuff, again, I'm wondering, why do you need this new mechanism? What is wrong with the old mechanism? But this is a 10 years ago. A number of schools in Ohio that have tried this, some successfully and some not, and it is now our turn to, to try it. And so it is important that we continue to get across the message this cannot, this does not raise taxes. It just keeps the current level of school taxes continuing for a continuing period of time. Okay, Mr. Pennycuff, again, I understand it's not raising taxes because it's a substitute levy, but what is this continuing period of time? The previous levy was 10 years fixed and it's ending now. It'll be over, our taxes will go down. But what is this continuing period of time what does ongoing mean? Thanks. Level of school taxes continuing for a continuing period of time. And I quote from the actual ballot language when I say a continuing period of time. Yes, yes. And unfortunately, we got to see that 